Good evening. Welcome to Mass at St. Margaret's Parish. In today's Gospel, Jesus sends his apostles out to preach his message while relying upon the hospitality of others along the way. Just as the apostles had to rely on the hospitality of others, let us call to mind the people in our own lives who rely upon our hospitality, care, and generosity. May we have the grace to reach out to them and invite them to share in God's abundance, just as Jesus welcomes us to his Eucharistic table. Our gathering in him is, O God beyond, o God beyond all praising, found in the We Celebrate Hymnal number 941. Please stand as we begin our celebration with our pastor, Father Richard Serpa.
letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made, us, made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor, that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times, to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. In him we are also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When we go, 
we become so bogged down with the stuff, really, of our lives that sometimes we're consumed by earthly things that we realize that it really is in the simplicity, in the simplicity of life that we are called and that we are sent to go and to proclaim good news. And so as we listen to these scriptures for this particular Sunday, a good reflection as these summer months allow us to relax a little bit and allow us to do what we can do with each other during this time of low time after the bazaars. Uh, remember that. Then you can relax. But the scriptures really today give us a good thought for all of us to think about. Don't get consumed with the things of the earth, of the earthly things, and rather keep it simple and keep it small and do whatever it is that God is calling us to do. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of the earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten not made, not substantial to the Father, for him all things were made. For us,
Let us pray to the Lord. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Preparation for the gift song is Be Not Afraid, found in the Louise Celebrate Hymnal number 882.
took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Savior's 
the Novena in honor of St. Anne, which is a very beautiful custom here uh, that we have each year. So the St. Anne's Novena begins this week. Nicholas McCarroll from our parish got married this afternoon uh, to Mary Evans at St. Jude's Church in Mountaintop. And of course, Andrew, Deacon now, Andrew McCarroll married his brother. It was his first wedding, and so it was a beautiful wedding. And so we're very proud, of course, of Andrew. And really, he, he's like he was doing it forever. He's so magnificent. And so uh, we congratulate Nicholas and his wife now, Mary McCarroll as they begin their married life. As the bazaar continues in preparations, everyone in the vestibule there, whatever is needed, you can see as you're leaving the church. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a good evening. Please join in singing our closing hymn, How Great Thou Art.